time are you spending with your family? If you're like most Americans, your time is spent in hours of commute traffic, going to a job you don't like, working for a company that doesn't value your skills and controls your quality time. And are you really getting paid what you're worth, or are you living paycheck to paycheck, depending on maxed out credit cards to make ends meet? Some Americans are forced to work two jobs just to stay above water. And okay, Mr. Ron, it's all yours. Hey, thanks, Ron. Appreciate everybody being on the call. I want to start out by congratulating Carolyn Renee Vargas over in Hawaii. They had 100 new people at their meeting. Incredible job in Hawaii. You know, Bill, you got to get after it to only have 35 people in San Diego, and they had 100 in Hawaii. Heard they had an incredible crowd. Their people love them. Jeff, I heard, did a great job. It's exciting to see all the new people coming into the company. The city manager's taking off. The area coordinator's taking off. Like Dwayne Goodman in Houston, I mean, he hit the ground running. He's having six meetings in all the key spots in Houston to get that going. He's already had a $100,000 case referred to him by somebody that wasn't in his hierarchy. So that shows you, proves that being a city manager pays off. I want to say congratulations to Chris Del Pino and the Hens Barks. They've gone over 100000 a month, a couple months in a row now, all on the Internet. They're averaging two, three thousand dollars a day. They've got people that are now going ten, twenty people wide. It's exciting at this time of the company to see all the the things going on. Like Brian Dudley, I'm excited about going down to Florida to be with him in Palm Beach at his meetings. Uh, Al Cardi, what he's got going on in the Northeast. He told me he had two two sales this last week that were more than he made from his annual income of his job. He's coming from. Huge opportunity. Ron Cook taking Boston. Ron, a big annuity producer coming over with us to take over Boston as a city manager, wants to get fully immersed in the life insurance business. Just a lot of great, great things going on. Uh, proud of Tom Al and Wayne in Texas. Four meetings this next week. I see Ernie Kuname taking off again. Just story after story. Andy Woodman in Atlanta, the Follies in Southern California. Dave Weiner figuring out how to get 100% closings at his meetings. Last week, nine for nine. Nine people came, nine people bought. He's figuring out how to get the most money in people's hands the quickest, chasing loads. Look, I could go on and on, Ron. That gives you a, a little indication of what's going on about this company. And I'm excited about you doing this presentation because I heard you do it in Houston. I'm, I'm so happy you tweaked it the way you did. So with that, we're all excited. People from all over the U.S. are on the call waiting for you to Show us the opportunity. Thank you, Ron. All right, Ron. Thank you, and uh, welcome to the call, everybody. I really, really appreciate your time. I feel fortunate tonight I get to share uh, something I'm really, really passionate about with you. Uh, so uh, let's get started. At Freedom Equity Group, our goal is simple. Uh, we want to build, we're going to build the largest agency in America ever. And tonight we're going to talk about how, how we plan on doing that. That's a very, very, very big goal as some of you that have been in the business know. As we go through the uh, numbers tonight, um, this is our opportunity to disclose. We're just going to give you numbers. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to bring up a little chart that shows you what you can make. Um, and uh, But you need to know, uh, our attorneys make us say all this stuff. Uh, if you do zero, you get paid zero. It's, it's an opportunity, and it's really what you make of it. So, uh, so here we go. We're on a crusade, everybody, and uh, there's more than one crusade, the first of which is a chance for you personally to have a vehicle where you can have major financial success, okay? Uh, we all know that America's been hit hard. You know, guys getting out of college can't get college-type jobs, on and on and on, high unemployment. Real estate's going back up again, but where are the jobs? So uh, we've got a crusade, and crusade number one is a chance for you to dream again in America and make extraordinary income. Now, I happen to believe that the only way that'll happen, you got to love what we do. You can't like what we do. you got to love what we do. And uh, so uh, crusade number two is a chance to be part of a consumer revolution, a chance to change a $5 trillion industry, 
Guys, our industry has millions and millions of employees in the financial services sector, and we got a chance to really do something very, very unique, something really, really big. So how big is our market? If we take a look at the millennials and Generation X and the baby boomers and the seniors, <clears throat> there's hundreds of millions of people. And someday everybody's going to think about retiring. Someday everybody's going to want to have some kind of retirement plan. But America's hurting really, really bad when it comes to retirement because we're not saving any money. And I do want to point this out. Out of this group here and this group here, Generation X and the baby boomers and seniors, as far as retirement goes, which one's in the best shape? And you know who it is. It's the seniors, right? Because these guys got through with most of them have pensions. <clears throat> you get to the baby boomers, very few pensions unless you're a government worker. And then after that, they're almost not existing unless you're a government worker. Okay? So we're the timing for what we do is perfect. And so what do we do? Well, we show people how to, how to have a common sense retirement plan. We show people how to get 300% more spendable income at retirement. And uh, the word income is not in there on purpose. It's a benefit. It's not income. That's what makes it tax-free. So i got a question for you. If I could show you how to get 300% more spendable income at retirement, would you want it? So you can't say no, right? Now, you can say, I don't believe you, I don't trust you, I don't get it, I need more information. Those are, that's all fine. But we have something that everybody wants and the ability to deliver on the promise. So when we uh, take a look and we start analyzing the savings habits of America, um, and, and the goal, let's just do a pretend goal that you got you want 5000 a month when you retire, 20 years of income, and we're going to use an 8% interest rate. And that's not unrealistic if you know much about indexing on life insurance contracts. We've been able to achieve that for the last 30 years. And by the way, tax-free. And we'll get to that a little bit later. But here's the bottom line. If you're 20 years old, you can achieve the goal by saving 113 a month. Problem is, nobody at 870 uh, saves because it's party time, right? I get it. Now, when you're 30, it, it's 260 a month. It's harder. But nobody saves at 30 because they got young kids. And then when you're 40, it's a little bit harder. It's 628 a month. And a lot of Americans don't save at this time because the kids are in high school and team sports approaching college. And certainly during the 50s, it's hard to save. And it's going to take 1700 a month to hit the same thing. Uh, because kids are in college, so forget about saving money now. And all of a sudden, you're 60 years old, and it's $8,100 a month. You could have done it with 113 bucks a month. <clears throat> so one of the crusades, the real main crusade, I'm going to say, is to help America retire with dignity. But the first thing we need to understand is the problem, okay? So, so question, in the current American business model, we'll call it, where do most people save for retirement? It's the IRA or, or 401k, right? But there's problems with this, okay? Number one problem being, I just showed you, procrastination. But problem number two, taxes. We'll get to that in a second. Fees and risk, stock market risk, okay? A couple of years ago, as we began to develop what we've got here today, as this opportunity developed, Time Magazine came out and said, <clears throat> um, time to retire the 401k, which, by the way, is an experiment but still not proven. The ugly truth about the 401k is it's a lousy product of financial flop. Well, why would they say that? Well, here's why. Well, here's reason number one. Most of the money's in the market. Market goes up, market goes down. Market goes up, market goes down. Now, recently, this market's gone up pretty good again. But there's a problem, and here, here's what it is. What if the guy in Korea hits the uh, What if the bird flu hits big? What if uh, some volcano goes off in the middle of New York? Uh, you know, all kinds of things can happen, and your retirement can be gone in a day. So should you be risking your retirement in the market? And my answer is no. 
Next, fees. Government report came out and said the hidden and excessive cost. The average American spends 155,000 in fees. Now listen clearly to what I say. Just a 2% fee is going to cut your retirement in half. But here, but, but I got more bad news. The average fee, according to one of the books I'm going to show you here in a second, is 2.99%. So America, wake up. You're giving half your retirement dollars to Wall Street. And then the other half, who's going to get the other half? The government. Taxes. Go back to the 1950s. The tax brackets were in the 90s. Well, why? It's really simple. We were in debt. What's happened this last year? It's going up to 39.6. You guys, we're trillions and trillions in debt. So every dime you take out of the 401k is fully taxable. So if ta when taxes go up, your net spendable goes down. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to get this, right? Not complicated. So here's what we do, you guys. We teach people the secrets of the ultra-rich. Plenty of literature out on it. Tax for Retirement, one of the first books. And here's what we teach. Mr. and Mrs. Consumer. What if you had a chance to opt out of the tax system, pay lower fees, and never lose money again? You guys, we just overcame the three problems with the 401k. Opt out of the tax system with your retirement dollars legally, pay lower fees, long range, way lower, and what if you could never lose in the market again? What a fantastic place to put retirement dollars. Now, everybody, I think it's important that we realize we can't just sell this product. We've got to educate the consumer. So one of my favorite books is called Common Sense Retirement, How to Get 300% More, What Wall Street Doesn't Want You to Know. And in here it says the average fee is 2.99%. You guys, I've been, in the, I've been in the business for 28 years, and I'm just learning some of the stuff that's just mind-boggling. You guys, we've got a better way to go, a way better way to go, and America needs to know about it. And why doesn't America know about it? Well, it's kind of simple. There's not enough educated, insurance-licensed people to get the word out. Wall Street's winning that race. So let's take a look and see how this indexing works. We're talking about a fairly new kind of life insurance policy called Index Universal Life. It's been around about 15 years. So you guys, I'm going to take these two columns, and these two columns is going to re represent the 401k. And we're going to pretend back on January 1st, 1999, we had a $100,000 in the 401k, and year one, one year later, one one two thousand, the market went up 19.5%, and things are looking good. Followed by three years of loss. This is a dot-com bust. You probably remember that. Followed by five growth years followed by the mortgage meltdown. And so that 100,000 goes from 100 to 102, right? Well, not, not right, wrong. Because we forgot to deduct the fees. So the average fee is 2.99. So what's 2.99% of this? And this, and this, yeah, and they charge them in the down years. And this, see, you add up 2.99% of all this stuff, it's over $36,000. So everybody, I got news for you. If there was no fees, the 100 would be worth 102, but you gotta take the 102 minus the fees of approximately 36,000 bucks, and the bottom line is you got hammered. You got hammered by the system with fees. Now these two columns are gonna represent the index universal life, and in my teaching example, I'm using a 13% cap, okay? So here's how it works. The 100,000, we're going to pretend is in the cash value of the life insurance policy. The money, and by the way, the insurance company doesn't put it in the market. The insurance company takes 100,000 and puts it in their bond portfolio. Some of these bond portfolios are, are, are over 100 years old. They take the interest the bonds generate and they bought, buy call options every year on the policy anniversary. So the first year they buy the call option, the market goes up 19 and a half. We have a cap in my teaching example of 13, so we don't get the whole 19 and a half, we only get 13.
So at the end of year one in the IUL, there's 113,000, but we lock it in. We can't lose it ever again. The next three years, as the market goes down, we don't lose. Well, why? Because 113,000 wasn't in the market. It was in the bond portfolio. So now, you guys, in this year, 2004, when the market is poised for growth again, over here you get 26% return on 71,000. You're up to 90. But see, over here we're starting at 113, and we get 13 on 113. We're up to 127. Well, the bottom line is 10 years into, 12 years into the deal, 102 less the applicable fees versus 213 less cost of insurance and applicable fees. Now, now I want you to really think about what I'm saying here. So you pay fees over here on the 401k, and what do you get? Well, you get something called professional money management, right? That's what Wall Street does. That's why you're being charged. Well, you go over here, and you, what do you get? Well, you get money management of a different sort. It's called indexing inside of a life insurance policy. So we'll call that money management of a different sort. Well, what else do you get for your fees? Well, it's a life insurance policy, so there's a death benefit. It's a modern life insurance policy, so there's a critical illness benefit in case you have a heart attack, stroke, or cancer. Um, there's a chronic illness benefit in case you don't have long-term care. It's a long-term type benefit, and it's included over here. Over here, you got money management. Over here, you got money management, life insurance, critical illness, chronic illness, and oh, by the way, your distributions are income tax-free. Which one would you rather have? But here's what boggles my mind. I assumed my entire career, certainly the fees over here got to be less than over here. And here's what I learned. Long range, our fees are way, way, way lower. Isn't that great? So, so you guys, so why do people put money in the IRAs and 401Ks? Well, it's kind of simple. The money goes in, it's tax deductible. Money grows in the IRA, tax deferred. We're going to defer paying taxes till when? Until taxes go up later. Does that make sense? I'm going to defer paying taxes until later when taxes probably got to go up. And then when I pass it to my non-spouse heirs like kids, it's fully taxable. So we just reverse the process with the IUL. The money you put in is not deductible, but the funds will grow tax deferred. You take them out of retirement income tax free, and you pass them on to your family tax free. Which one would you rather have? What's the purpose of a retirement plan? Taxable versus tax free income, right? Now I'm going to play just a minute of this video. I hope. See if I can make the technology work here. Okay. What I want to do here, everybody, is I want to talk about the debt. Ah, come on, Internet. Well, for whatever reason, that's not working, so we'll just skip it. But you guys, here's here's what this video does, and, and here here's why I like to play it, especially live. When we think about the debt that our country's in, it's hard for people to grasp it, because a million sounds like a billion, sounds like a trillion, and who cares if we're 14 billion, million, or trillion? And what's the difference? You guys, the difference is huge. One trillion dollars of debt looks like about 10 football fields stacked with $100 bills, six foot tall. And when you have an opportunity to, to interpret the scope of our debt, so, 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 everybody, so let's get this right, America. You're going to defer paying taxes till later. And you've got a, you got a partner on your IRA called Uncle Sam. He's your partner. He's fiscally irresponsible, unfortunately. He spends over a billion dollars a year of money he doesn't even have. And when this money's taken out, he makes the rules. He can set the tax rate wherever he wants. Are you out of your mind? Uh, somebody told me this the other day, and, I, and, and it's a point well taken. Now, listen clearly. When you go buy a house, don't you want to know the price? 
When you go buy a car, don't you want to know the price? Understand that when you put your money in the 401k, you are clueless on the back end because you don't know what the tax rates are going to be. And I think it's absolutely foolish. That's where I get to share my passion. Now, next thing, as we go through life, stuff happens. This is new stuff I never learned. Your IRA 401k, what happens if you get sick along the way? Now, let's just show you. The average age of heart attack, stroke, or cancer is 43. Most live. Most survive, but most go bankrupt. By the time we hit age 65, 70% are going to have a heart attack, stroke, or cancer. So for 70%, it's not if, it's when. See, and if you can't work for three months, two months, one year, two years, and you're taking all the money out of your 401ks, possibly you're paying income taxes on everything you're taking out, and you might be paying uh, uh, penalties. So you got messed up. So, you guys, the bottom line is we sell life insurance with living benefits, something called no-cost, critical, and chronic illness riders. I just want to share a little bit. So we just learned the average age of a heart attack, stroke, cancer is 43. Critical illness co covers up to about 17 different illnesses, okay? Chronic illness. Well, what the heck's that? Well, the definition is you can't do two, two of the six adult daily living activ activities. You can't bathe yourself, feed yourself, dress yourself, all that kind of stuff. Now, if we were in a live meeting, we'd open up the brochure, we'd look at all the benefits. But here's a check made out to one of our clients, Johnny. Now, I want you to know, it wasn't made out to his wife. It was made out to, to Juan, Johnny, we called him. He bought a term policy, term life insurance, 57 or so bucks a month. He got super preferred rating. Five months into it, stomach ache, stage four cancer. They sent him a check for 344000 bucks when he was still alive. I want you to think about something. If you get sick, what do you want your life insurance policy to send? Check or no check? So, so every day, everybody, as you kind of look at our business opportunity, I want you to think about all the millions and millions of American families out there bought the old-fashioned kind of life insurance where it's a death benefit and you got to die to get the money. So as you're spending your premiums every month, i got a question for you. What do you want to buy? A death benefit or would you rather have a death benefit and covered for heart attack, stroke, cancer, blah, 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 and chronic illness? Everybody, i got news for you. If you're in the 90% of Americans don't own long-term care, the average cost is 6,500 bucks. If you need to go into a nursing home for 6,500 bucks a month and you don't have the money, what are you going to do? You're going to be end up probably being government dependent. Doesn't that sound good? Government dependent. Now I'm going to scare you a little bit because I want I want to go out into the future. The the baby boomers are about 60 years old. In 20 years, they're 80. In 20 years, a ton of them are in nursing homes. And 90% of them don't have long-term care. And they're government dependent. It's going to break. You, you think that we got problems right now with the uh, deficits? You just wait for 20 years when the baby boomers that don't have long-term care. But you guys, we got a solution. See, the bottom line, and I always... I'm not going to, if sickness knocks on the door, what do you want? Check or no check? What do you want? Check from your life insurance policy, a check or get woke card? Because I got news for you. See, if your policy says XYZ, ABC, the, you know, all these brand names, and you get sick or chronic, you're not getting a check. You're not getting a check. And you're not getting a get well card either. See, Johnny had a 20-year term with no living benefits. And if he, didn't, if he wasn't fortunate enough to switch his policy when he did, he would have had no check, but he got a check. And it makes a difference. And we call that a crusade. So the bottom line is this. We sell a new kind of life insurance. Not just life insurance in case you die by the way, that has a tax-free death benefit, life insurance in case you 
die too soon, become ill, or live too long. We call it the Swiss Army knife of finances. Tax-free money when you get sick, and, ta and the ultimate living benefit is a healthy retirement. Tax-free money anytime you want with the upside potential of the market and no downside risk. <clears throat> so let's take a look real quick at a client. <clears throat> 35-year-old puts in 500 bucks a month, got a choice. You can go over here, IRA, 401K, or the IUL. Now, on the front end, the money you put into for 30 years, 500 a month, 180,000 is tax deductible. So that's pretty good because over here it's not tax deductible, and this is why people do it. But here's the problem. <clears throat> in five years, oh, by the way, you retire at age 66, you take out a, an income of 69,000 a year, by the way, fully taxable. You pull it out of this side over here, and in five months you've depleted. In, in five years, you've depleted your account. It's gone. In five years, so you put this in, you take this out, fully taxable. Now over here, you put this in, and you take the income out, but it's tax free. And by the age of 100, you pull 2.3 million out. So when you talk about building a retirement plan, would you rather pull this out taxable, 292, or 2.3 tax-free? <clears throat> now, at age 100 over here, yeah, you're still out of money. You were out of money in five years. But over on this side, you still have 800000 of cash value and 887000 income tax-free death benefit. You guys, this plus this, potential benefit at age 100 is more than this taxable. We don't beat our competition, we beat them to a pulp. A couple of, of videos here, I'm not going to have time to play them tonight, but I love playing them when we do these live. There's a video here that talks about the fees, the hidden fees. I challenge every one of you, if you're new to the call tonight, go to YouTube and look up hidden, the truth about hidden 401k fees. In part one of three, look at it and get ready to get sick to your stomach. We got one of the uh, uh, number one re retirement planners in the world, CPAs here, and it's telling America, get your money out of the IRA. Stop the madness. The deduction on the front end, the only good thing about it, is not worth what happens to you over here on the back end. Now, everybody, coming to the end of the product side, then we're going to talk about the money. And this is what I love about what we do here at Freedom Equity Group, okay? We just told the story. So what did we talk about? Well, we talked about tax-free retirement. We talked about um, life insurance, a new kind of life insurance with no-cost living benefits. And now, uh, and, and now we want to talk about your family. So listen closely. You guys, let's pretend my clients are Bill and Michelle. Bill and Michelle, if you are currently funding a 401K, I'm going to look at you right now. I'm going to tell you to stop the madness. It's totally insane. The only way I'm going to let you to continue to fund is you can put in the match. If they're matching 200 a month, yeah, go ahead and put 200 a month in. I can understand that. But I cannot allow you to put an extra dime in because you're going to kill yourself financially if you do it. So if you're putting in 1000 a month, let's call it 1200 a month, and they're matching 200 we're going to take the 1000 and we're going to fund an IUL. And you're going to have an income tax-free death benefit, income tax-free critical illness, income tax-free chronic illness, income tax-free uh, money at retirement. You're going to retire with this. Now, everybody listen to me clearly. What about the families that don't have money to save? Well, we get it. We've, we've all been there. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to help you rent a plan, something temporary, term insurance, income tax-free death benefit, income tax-free critical, income tax-free uh, 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 chronic illness, and it's convertible over to here someday when you can afford it. If you can't own it, you can rent it. You guys, one of the beauties of our company is we have a product for every American family. 
One of my favorite, by the way, I'm not going to get too much into this, uh, is the GUL, a permanent term type plan. Guaranteed universal life goes out to age 120 if you want it to. The only one in the world with living benefits. We have a product for every single family, and that creates an unbelievable opportunity. Now, with all that said, I need to share something with you guys. All the time I do this meeting, and I look people in the eye, and I see so many nice people with this confused look on their face like, Ron, what the hell did you just say? I don't even get it. Or Ron, that's kind of complicated. I don't think I can do it. I'm going to just tell you this. I understand. I understand that this can be a little bit complicated in the front end. So let's, let me show you a, a very simple way to go. Okay? This is how simple our business can be if, you need, if you're looking for an opportunity. You sit down with your clients, Bill and Michelle, and here's the entire presentation you start with. Bill and Michelle, do you own life insurance? Well, they say, well, yeah, we own life insurance. Okay. Bill and Michelle, do you have to die to get the death benefit? Well, uh, we think so. What's the name of the company? Uh, ABC Life. Yeah, you got to die to get it over there. There's only two or three companies where you don't have to die to get it. So you own life insurance. Yeah, you got to die to get the money. Yeah. Get rid of it. It's old fashioned. You guys, can you say these three lines? Because if you can, you can at least get started in the business. Start, start the ball rolling. This is all you got to learn in the beginning. Get rid of it. It's old-fashioned. You need to know about the new kind you don't have to die to use. No additional cost, critical, chronic, and terminal illness riders. Let me get you a quote and see if you qualify. You guys, you can start by selling the simple term insurance. We've had people in Hawaii make over $150,000 a year and this is their presentation. This buys you time to learn the business. Now, here's how simple this is. Bill and Michelle, what's your age? Male or female? Monthly or annual premium? And how much do you want? So let's say Bill says, well, I'm 40 and I want a million. Okay, well, here we go. I got an annual renewable term for 27 bucks a month. 10-year term, 44 bucks a month. 15-year term, 57 bucks a month. 20-year term, 76 a month. Nothing too complicated. 40-year-olds, we buy a 20-year term. It lasts for 20 years. Million dollars. 40-year-old. How old are you, male or female, annual or monthly premiums, and how much you want? Oh, why? by the way, do you smoke or non-smoke? That's how simple the business can be. So here's what I'm trying to tell you, everybody. Give yourself a chance. This is the largest industry in the world. Trillions and trillions and trillions of assets. Your friends, your neighbors, you, you, the, the people that live in your town, they're buying life insurance. they got to die to get it. They're getting sick, and their life's getting ruined financially. And you can help them. This is not just about making money. It's also about helping people. It's all about making money also, by the way. But you know what? America needs to hear the story about living benefit. Okay, so let's move on. You guys, we represent some of the oldest, most established companies in America. We're independent. We can represent whoever we want. We're going to shop the companies and find you, the consumer, the best deal. Now, here's how our pay system works. You come into the business, you get a license. You start off at 40% commission. You get three recruits in. You hire three people into your agency. You do your five training sales, and you get promoted to sales leader, 45%. As a sales leader, you got one job, help three people get to sales leader. And when you do, you go up to 50 Three, you're a district. Three districts, you're a division. Once you're a division, you get two divisions or earn 75000 of income, 
and you become a vice president. Our vice presidents earn 75% commission. Well, 75% of what? Now, everybody, listen to what I'm going to tell you. A report came out the other day that stated the average target premium, commissionable premium on an index universal life across America with every company is over 11,000. What's 75% of 11,000? It's a whole bunch of money. What I'm trying to tell you is this. If you can learn how to do this and get good at it, there's a ton of money to be made if you can di be disciplined enough to get on our trainings and read a book and learn this. Now, as a VP, you get paid 75%. But I want you to think about something. Let's say Johnny Lunchbucket right here, he becomes a VP. He moves up the ladder and he becomes a VP just like you. Well, now he's got 75, you got 75. But you're going to get a 9% override on Johnny and all his reps, sales leaders, districts, and divisions. One of his guys goes there, you're at three, and then two. There's five generations of overrides in the beginning. But once you go to 100,000, leverage kicks in, and we're going to add 3%. So you go to 78. First generation goes to 12. You double your income on your second generation. It goes from three to six. We're going to give you a 3% bump all the way down to infinity. So if you say, well, Ron, how, much, how many points do I have in my contract? Well, just add it up. 78 plus 12 plus 6 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 to infinity. Then you, you go to 200,000, 400,000, 600,000 of income. You start adding these points up, and you're looking at a system with incredible leverage to build your business. When you get yourself into this category over in here, 84 plus 18 plus 12, you don't have to go very deep, and it adds up to 150, 180, 200. Keep on moving. So now we're going to get to the show me the money part. You guys, our partners have billions of dollars in liquid reserves to be paid out in commissions. And here's what you're going to find that's unique. If you've ever been in direct sales and you sell something for $300, What's the average commission? Well, it's probably about 10% or 30 bucks. Well, here's what's unique about what we sell. $300 a month case generates 3,000 or so in commissions. Do you get it all? No. It's paid through the grid, the pay grid that I just showed you. So you would get your percentage of this 3,000. This is just an example that I'm using. Some, some cases, by the way, are, big, are bigger. We're going to use a 300 case as a, a, a simple uh, uh, example. So here's how this looks. It starts with you, and we have something called the fast track. And this is, this is for people that say, hey, Ron, I'm Johnny on the spot. I get it. I understand living benefits. I get the taxable thing on the 401K. I understand most American families own life insurance they got to die to get. I want to go help these families. I want to go on the fast track. Well, here we go. Starts with you. What do you got to do? Number one, sign your fast your fast track start agreement, fast start agreement. Okay? Get with the person and invite you here tonight and get it signed because as soon as you sign it, the clock stops, starts ticking. Number two, get your license. Number three, complete your needs analysis. Yes, we're going to do a needs analysis because we care and start your program. For you, it might be an IUL. It might be a term. You might have money for retirement. You might not. Start your program within your budget, something you can definitely afford and keep. Now, now, so, now did I say you've got to own this in order to be part of this company? No. You go back to the traditional guidelines. But if you're going to be a fast tracker, we want you to own what you're selling. Well, why? Because if you don't own what you sell, you have zero credibility. Not only that, you need it. If you're not saving for retirement, you better be, right? If you can't do it this month, eventually you can do it. 
If you can't do it right now, we'll put you in term and we'll convert it later. Step four, complete your five training sales and five recruits. Now, in order for you to get promoted, you've got to have a minimum of $1,500 of monthly target premium. You get this done, you've got 60 days to do it, you're a VP on the fast track. Now you own your own agency. On a $300 a month deal, your commission is in the neighborhood of $2,400. Bucks. And on the national average of over $11,000, your average commission is $8,000 bucks per sale. You guys, there's a lot of money in this. And if you want to get wealthy, here's what you got to do. You go find you. You want to go fast, great. You want to make a whole bunch of money. You go find five more people that want to go on the fast track. And please understand, you might have to find. You're gonna. I guarantee it. You're gonna have to recruit more than five, five to find these people. But you find five, and you are on your way to the big leagues. You're on your way to a quarter million dollar a year income. You get serious and find five that are serious. You are absolutely on your way to the big income. Okay, so let's take a look at how this looks now. Okay. So here's how it looks. You come in. You own the product. You recruit Bill. He owns the product. Now, I understand some of these sales are going to be higher than 300. Some of them are going to be lower. We're just using 300. You have a license. Your commission is 600 bucks. It's called a split sale. Your first five sales are split slash training sales. So on these five, you make $3,000. You own the product. These five people own the product. If these sales are let, by the way, you add this up, that's $1,500 a month. You do your five trainings. If this doesn't add up to at least $1,500, you got to keep going with sales until this until this monthly adds up to fifteen hundred, and that and what and, and by the way, in our example, you're in three thousand dollars. But you guys, you're a VP, and you did it in a couple months instead of a couple years. On our traditional track, it takes the average Joe a couple years to get there. Now, here's what I call this thing, you guys. It's called earn while you learn. But let me show you. Let me show you the next step. Now, you go help Bill get his five, and they each do a $300 a month case. You realize on those five cases, your override is $82.50 for Bill and Mel and Pat and Sue and Tom. You take it to the second level, there's $41,250 more. Now, let's see if this works. I'm going to click on this. And, I, and I'm going to just show you something that I love showing. So everybody, new people on the phone call tonight, are you looking for an opportunity? Can you learn? I believe you can. I believe anybody can do this. I mean, we've, we've got proof that it doesn't matter what you look like. You get yourself to the VP, so here would be the question. Can you do one sale a week? I'm using $300 a month here, $3,600. One sale a week pays you $129,000 a year. So here's the question. Is this product sellable? You guys, this product is a revolution. It's more than sellable. America needs it. Now, let's keep going on the income. Let's pretend you got four people in your base shop. One, two, three, four. And they each do a whopping one sale a month. So I'm not overstating the numbers. Now your income is 174000 a year. Now let's keep on going. Let's say a couple of years from now, you keep this production up, but you got five guys, five guys that made it to VP. But they're not too successful at it. All five of them only do one sale a month. Now, that's about as pathetic as it can get. Understand, we got people that have done 20 in a weekend. I'm saying you got five VPs. All five do a total of one a month. With that pathetic production, you're, that's another 19000 a year. Over time, they get some guys that make it to VP. They each get four, and they each get three, and they each get two, and they each get one. You're $427,000. You guys... 
I can pretend that it was five. Back, let's just do it. Let's make this a 25. So 25. Whoa, that shut up from 19,000. What if this is 100? What if you what if you were to really go build something? You guys, if we put real numbers in here, what I what I think can really be done, it comes out to millions and millions of dollars. But I don't I don't even like talking about that kind of stuff too much because it blows a lot of people away. So let's just go back to simple. What if you could become a VP and just do one sale a week? Would an, would an, ex, would an extra $129,000 coming in help your retirement? Could you save money now? Guys, I get so fired up and passionate about this, it's unbelievable. Okay, so we're nearing the end. Some people say, Ron, I can't afford to save anything. Well, then you need to go into business for yourself. Because just the increase in tax deductions, I mean, my example here, you're picking up 30, you're paying $3,700 less in taxes because you're writing off a part of your car or cell phone and all the rest of that stuff. You need to be in business for yourself and get all the tax write-offs. So I'm kind of winding down now, and Bill, I'm going to turn it over to you in about a minute. Bill's going to talk to you about Las Vegas. You guys, in the long range, I, want, I just want to share our plan. We got a goal to build the largest agency in America ever. Well, well how? Well, we got a crusade. We got a story to tell, and the story is right for the American consumer. With your help, we're going to build this company together. But on the back end, we're thinking right now that someday, wouldn't it be nice to sell it for, you know, possibly a whole gigantic pile of money? And what if we shared it with you? Build it together, sell it, and share it. You guys, if you're an insurance guy, why work for just commissions? Why not be part of a team that has a big goal and wants to be huge and wants to go conquer the industry? Are you in control of your destiny? Are you where you, are you, where you want to be? Probably not, or you wouldn't be on the call. Are you with FEG right now? If not, everybody, you need to get back with the person that brought you, take out the fast start agreement, and, and start the clock. You guys, I really want to say thank you for being on the call. Thanks for your time. Uh, Bill St. Clair, I'm going to kind of turn this over to you. This is the last page. I'll let you finish it up. Bill's going to talk to you guys about why you want to come to Hawaii with us for the launch of our company. So, Bill, here you go. Thank you, Ron, and an excellent presentation. Uh, let me just say that the presentation was the best that I've ever heard, and uh, it's it's excellent. We've had hundreds of comments, not not a few, but literally hundreds of comments on making sure that we did record this presentation. It is recorded for everybody. It will be up on the FEG Corp website. So once again, we're going to have our incredible event in Las Vegas, Nevada, being held at the Caesars Palace. May 31st to June 1st. Uh, make sure that everybody goes to www.fegcorp.com website. Ron expressed over and over how big the 401k market is, why we have to go after that that asset that's taxed. I just want to ex expand on that a little bit. That market is $17 trillion. Our U.S. debt is over $16 trillion. There's over $5.3 trillion in IRAs. Defined contributions, $4.9 trillion. Defined benefits, $2.5 trillion. Government pension, $4.7 trillion. That's an excess of $17 trillion that's going to be taxed. Now, in Vegas, we have the presentations, we have the PowerPoints, we have the bombshells that's going to explode you right into that market. We have everything that you'll need to extract that $17 trillion into the Index Universal Life. That's one of the key reasons why we need everybody in Vegas, so that you'll be the first here in America to have that information, to have that those powerful tools. Plus, we're going to have the top executives, the top chairmen, CEOs, and presidents, senior vice presidents, executive vice presidents, from all the top carriers there. 
uh, with our company. So it's important. Once again, go to www.fegcorp.com. Everybody have a great evening, and we thank you for being on the call. Hey, Bill. Bill? Yes, Rob. I, I just want to add one last thing, everybody. Here's one more reason you want to be in Las Vegas, okay? You, you want to be able to look at us in the eye and know that this opportunity is for real. I mean, in my opinion, if I was you, you know, you, you need to shake our hands. You need to find out what kind of people we are. And, and you, you need to know that if you're going to make a commitment to something, that it's something worth committing to. So, you guys, I really encourage you to come and really, you know, so that you can know for you and your family that this is for real, something worth committing to. And uh, so I look forward to shaking your hand, looking you in the eye, and letting you know that this is an opportunity that's absolutely for real that can change both your lives and the lives of your clients. So thanks for being with us. Really appreciate your time. Bye-bye, everybody. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected.